Hey guys, I wanted to share this with you. I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, upload this successfully in terms of light because it's really clouding up quickly here. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's getting dark. It was so beautiful, sunny, and bright um, today, earlier today, and warm, like in the 60s. And now it's like still in the 60s, but there's like a wind and sort of a wind and rainstorm um, headed this way. Um, what I want to do is share this. I'm going to put this up on my Etsy for sale. It's one of the, I po posted it on my Instagram, and it's one of the scrapbooks that I got at the last estate sale my mom and I went to, and we're kind of gearing um, for um, some other um, sales coming up, which will be really nice. And, you know, I'd love to see you guys out scrounging and finding your items. I think it's pretty cool to for customers and, you know, us inspired folk um, to see you out walking around and finding your goodies. Um, I love that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, so this is a scrapbook um, and you guys saw it on the film when my mom and I were at the estate sale. Um, I don't know if I showed this one or there was another one. She had several, but I picked this one up. Now, the problem was with that estate sale is there was a lady walking around um, taking and collecting items to post up you know by the register so that you wouldn't have to walk around with your arms full which is so nice but in the <laughs> midst of doing that your item is sitting up there with the sellers who were brought into this big huge estate warehouse um, to sell the items um, and they were taking things out so um, I yeah I don't know but anyway I just said, you know, if you take things out, um, then I have to have a discount. So I, I'm almost certain that they took a few things out of this as well as the photo album um, I'm going to show you guys. But the photo album is nonetheless stunning. Stunning. So this is going to go up for sale in my Etsy store. Um, there's the front of it, and it's got a, I think that's a Scottish um, dog there. And there's this, the back. And... There's that part of it, and this part here, and the pages are so brittle, um, and, you know, they, they just break and crumble um, if you bend them, but they're very strong in terms of, they feel like construction paper, that's what it feels like, but it, you know, construction paper is a lot more um, durable than this paper. So there's a couple here in the beginning, and then it looks like they put in, someone put in a... <clears throat> a scorecard here, a tally card that is for a shamrock. And if my neighbors guys get loud, um, you know, I think they're working on some cars or I'm not sure what they're doing, but if they get loud, I have the front door open. That's how warm it is here. Um, I'll close it so that, you know, it's not a distraction. Um, this is really cute, right? Who's a complainer? <laughs> And then it says, you're always nursing an ache or pain. It's the ones who listen who should complain. Um, I think that's really cute. Love the, the, the pants and their regalia there, their attire there, their apparel there, right? Um, this is really cool. Um, it says, don't annoy your neighbors by borrowing everything they possess. Good housekeepers have their own utensils. Amen, sister girl. <laughs> Amen. Love the little apron here and the she's got on two colored shoes and then she's got sugar in her hands, a bag of sugar. This here is Mary had a little lamb, the old um um oaken bucket, um all lane sin and loves old sweet song. I think that's right, guys. I don't have my glasses on. He, let's see, what does that say? Oh, beneath, neath the shade of the old apple tree, and then smiles. So you've got some old um, typewritten um, little verses in there, stanzas. And then there's a lot of this brittle paper, um, this, you know, paper that is just ready, you know, to be filled. Um, it looks like the Previous owners did not um, complete that, obviously. There's more of these little cute cards. 
This is a birthday card, 1938. And there's some goodies there. There's a little tally card. And look at the little house on there. I'm so scared to flip that paper over over because it cracks. But look at the little cute house. And there's another little cutout. Um, here is some more little old vintage pieces. That's got an image of a little baby and that or a doll actually that someone has cut out. Um, some little axe, a napkin here, and this looks like it's a Valentine's um, kind of thing. This is really cute. A little tally card. It opens up. And you can see where they've kept score because they've got the little hole punches in there. I assume that that's what that is. Um, here's another one here with some pink, a uh, purple, lavender flowers, daffodils, um, and purple lavender background. Really cute. And that's got little heart punch outs. Another napkin here that's glued in there. So that's really cute. And some more of these little cute cards. And this little guy up here, he's all dapper and ready to give flowers. I bet that was a tally card and they just put half of the, the front part in there. Um, more napkins here. Here's the matching tally to the dapper dude. Um, I'm not going to pull that out of there. I'm not sure why is it stuck in there like that. Yeah, I better not pull that. So, anyway, I usually like to leave things as I, as you know, they come. Um, Okay, here's a little bell. This is really cute. A little wedding kind of tally, 1938. And here's one here. She looks like a little southern belle with her um, dress and her little curls, her locks. There's the tally card. This one has a rabbit napkin and um, a little married couple uh, jump in the broom. And this is a little cat image here. Looks like they glued a newspaper image to that one and made their own tally. 1938. Um, your presence is requested at the miscellaneous surprise shower for Mrs. Virginia Lee on Thursday evening, May 19 at 8 o'clock. Home Gas and Electric Lounge. 1938. And so you can see where things have been pulled out of um, the album, the scrapbook. Um, here's another napkin here, made in the USA, um, and it's just kind of tucked down there. And then this is an old, um, let's see, birthday card, and it's got a little inscript there, or it's signed there, dedication. Not necessarily a dedication, but just a you know the little signature there to who it was to whom it was headed. It was for Easter greetings, um, 1938. Looks like this is mostly 1938, and here's a guy on his horse. Birthday card, good run. That's really cute. I like that. Um, and opens up there and some roses. Lots of tally cards in this and they're used. Most of them are 1938. Um, dish towels, uh, 19, June 1938. I think that's what that says. And then it's got a list of names of missuses. Married women. And here is some um, Halloween goodness here that's really old and fragile. And I'm not going to even mess with it. Um, here's a card here, 1938. This is a, looks like a Mother's Day card. Um, I would tell, tell a lot about you in this cheery, cheery little toast. But I just remembered, Mother, that you taught me not to boast. Love, Chauncey, and Fern. And then this up here is some more. Um handwriting there and look at the little squirrels guys these are so cute and there's a little bell there I don't know if you can see the squirrels but they're adorable I hope this is coming out okay guys it's really dark here it's getting dark it was so 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 beautiful and bright earlier today 
Um, and then this is another one. I love this card here. That's really pretty. And then this is uh, titled um, America, My Country, Tears of Thee, because, you know, that's the song and I'm not going to sing it again. <laughs> Or I might. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, let's see. You've got me hooked Valentine, which is cute. And there's some punch outs on there. I guess the punch outs. I'm not sure what that's about. I really don't know. Um, and then this is a really cute card. And it's got a pin stuck in it there. I'm not card, a napkin. And there's some more um, script handwriting. Another little floral tally there. And then more Valentine and other than see something's been taken out there. And that's another mother and dad card. There's um, the little Scottish dogs. Here's a little um, fall leaf napkin. And then this is a list of babies. This is interesting. This says babies. What is that? It says anatomy, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> this is kind of like what to do when you first have a baby. Um, it sort of gives you all of the things that you should do. A list of things. Um, that's what it looks like. What's something like to do, neck, shirt, or blouse, bosom, pull, or drag, toe, march, something, instep, arch, elbow, nose, eye. That's really interesting. I don't know what that's about. That's way before my time, guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, and that's, yeah. Uh, okay, so this one here is another card. And I am not in frame, am I? Nope. There we go. Um, another little, this is really cute. I love these pinks and greens. That sort of idyllic scene. And here's a little card here. And another little baby announcement. A couple of baby announcements. Baby just arrived. Brand new lullaby. And look at the little cherub. The little angel there. So cute. Um, this one is dated 1960, and it's got Melody Lynn, I think is what that says, 8 pounds and 5 ounces, hmm, December 15, 1944 is when the baby was born. Down here it says 1960, 44, and then 16, and then this one... Born at 9.01 a.m. December 27th, but uh, that one doesn't have a date on it. It's from the same family. Obviously, this was a family scrapbook. Um, so there's that. 1939. To Mom, Mother Day, Mother's Day Baby, 1940 picture. So it looks like there might have been some pictures in here that were taken. Here's a postcard of a train, London Bridge, some floral um, from New Orleans, 1940, and these cute little images here, and this is a really neat little picture. It looks like courtships or something. Well, he looks like he's trying to court, but, excuse me, everybody else looks like they're I don't know, prepping for something. And then this one is Church of Guadalupe. Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. And then here we've got um, Homemakers Club, 1940. Here's a postcard there that's um, the Sympathy Under the Stars. And then this one is really cute, this little tally card that is a um, Halloween love this little round card very cute and that one folds out it's got a little pop-up there I won't read it and this page is loosely in here um, it's got uh, for city folk how a horse is harnessed and there's a bunch of 
how to's and all that and there's some handwriting there from the 40s cute little card there that's another baby announcement and um, this one is dad's announcement I hope you guys are seeing this and this one too I love these old vintage cards like this I have some that were gifted to me in happy mail um, and let's see miniature script so there's that I'm not sure what that's about um, this is really cute this little boy um, carrying um, gifts in his bicycle I love this image very cute I still have some of my great-grandmother's cards that uh, she wrote for to my mom which are really cute this is nice um, I like this image just because you know gosh if more people rode bicycles these days right guys I miss riding my bicycle all throughout um, California, my, the little place where I went to college and lived for a long time after graduation. It was just such a wonderful place, but it's so expensive. Um, this one is uh, to the dearest mother, Evelyn Dow and boys. So you get the gist of it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I want to show you the photo album as well. But it's got just a lot of pretty old cards and some um, War and Navy Department's official business to my mother and dad from, um, I'm not sure where that's from. What does that say from North? North. I don't know what that says, guys. Can you see that? I don't know. And then this one is a little letter here. And so that's where he has sent, he being, I'm assuming that it's a male, um, has sent an, a little letter to mom and dad. I have not read that. It's very fragile. That's old. Um, and then this here is Hotel uh, Smokey Don't Start Boo Boo, please. This is 1943. Hang on, guys. Let me let him out. Okay. I swear my dog thinks he's human. Okay. I swear my dog thinks he's human. Okay. So this is um, dated 1943. And then, again, it's got these War and Navy Department um, letters from the 40s. Um, probably World War II, I'm sure. Um Let's see, is there something in there? I think there's a card in there. I'm not going to take it out. I didn't look in there. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and then you've got these little notes. Um, little letters and things. That looks like a copy of something. And that's really neat okay so anyway yeah and then there's some more letters these are handwritten letters guys if you haven't gone over to um, Tammy Brackett's um, and I'll link her below her shop to look at those ephemera flow books that she's put together oh my god they are amazing they're so fun she's got so much ephemera in them I gotta save up to get one though I can't spend any more guys I'm just no <laughs> It's just no, no, no. I say that now, but who knows later, right? It depends on how well my store, does, my shop does. Um, but I got to save up for one of those because they are just fun. She's got all kinds of old letters and ephemera and handwritten um, letters with envelopes in them. They're just a lot of fun. Um, this one looks like it was handmade by a kid. And something's been, well, this has, I guess. Yep. Has been pulled out here. And I'm not sure what this is. Something was pulled off of that. That's some kind of invite announcement. And there's another handmade card, 1938, by a child. And look at that image there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Just pretty little snowmen around, the kids around, um, ice skating very 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 festive and cute a uh, Christmas image and this is all hand done um, okay let me look at the last few pages with you 
on Father's Day. That's really neat. Here's an announcement here. Another um, fold out there. And here is a Western Union telegram. Now this I think is really cool. Um, it's got um, it says Dio Dregu and family wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year Dows. Isn't that cool? 1919, December 24 at 7 27 p.m. This kind of stuff is so much fun, guys, to think about um, because now everything is just text and email. I love that. So I'll tuck that back in there. Very, very cool. That could probably even be scanned and revamped um, with different a different message. And then I think that's the end of it. And look at this pretty um, image here. This is gorgeous. This is a, a rather large card. Oh my gosh, way back when I um, started doing a junk journaling kids, I had a beautiful um, card that was pink and striped. It was so pretty. And I just spread it out everywhere as far as I could. Whoops. And then... Um, and put it in the kits and it, that's what this reminds me of it looked like that and then there's the image there okay so this is going up in my Etsy store guys um, and I will not I'll take extra pictures of it I'm just gonna post only the front of it and and I'll have to go back in here and figure out how to get these pages back in the front of it and the um, and the back of the book. I may put one or two pages um, from inside in it. We'll see. Um, and then if it doesn't sell, then I'll just come back in and put pages in it. Or I'll take these out and put them in flow books um, at some point in time. Okay. Um, I will have this listed in my Etsy shop um, by the time um, this goes up. Um, and I am sending this um, to international, interested international um, buyers as well. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be back to show you uh, the photo album that I have with some good, yummy, 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 yummy photographs in them, black and whites. They are amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues. Okay, guys. Hi there. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> um, anyway, I promised that I would show you guys this photo album um, that I got from the last estate sale that my mom and I went to. And um, we will, my mom and I are planning um, to get out of our little hubby holes and um, take you out again so that you can shop with us and take a look around and see the things that we um, see and the things that we find. Um, out and about you know getting out of our little hubby holes and breathing um, it's kind of fun to take you guys along I enjoy it and she does too so um, this is the photo album that I told you the lady took some of the pictures at it's gorgeous it's so big guys I can't even um, let me see get the whole thing in frame all at once but I did want to share it with you so it measures Oh, let's see, about 15 and a eighth by 13 and a half. And the spine, let's see, is about, oh, looks like about two and three eight inches. Okay, three eighths of an inch. Um, so even though the lady took um, some of the photographs out, um, which is, that's kind of not cool to do that. I think it's that's kind of uh, bad decorum. It's kind of tacky if you are a seller. Um, and so I think that, you know, like I said, when I saw her doing that, I was like, well, if you know, you have to give me a good deal. And um, she did. Eh, mas, mas or menos. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me just open it up. Okay, I have not looked in it um, since I brought it home. My husband flipped through it a, a time or two, um, but I haven't really paid a lot of attention to it. I came in and put some other things away, and so it's just kind of been sitting up, so I'm kind of looking at it with you. 
um, and we can just see what we see. Okay, so in the beginning, um, there's a lot of contemporary um, pictures, right? So there's some Harley Davidsons and some Coca-Cola and some random pieces. I don't know if this is the guy that they were, uh, they being the, the um, estate hosts, that they, you know, they did his estate that they were fond of and, and sort of felt connected to. Um, let's see, what do we have in here? I want to get to the black and white, so I'm not going to dwell too much on, on this contemporary stuff. Um, it looks like, now this is something she should have taken out, but I'll, I'll destroy this. Um, this is one of those old social security cards right and i may um keep this and scratch out the numbers because i think that would be cool for like a steampunk kind of thing maybe so there's that so i'll get rid of that or either scratch that number out and then i won't go through every every piece so this is some some pieces dated from the 80s okay but there's just random things um shown about here um, this looks like he must have been the Arab Center for the Studies of Arid Zones and Dry Lands. So this is something from the Middle East. And then I won't spend a lot of time on these pictures. They're like, you know, 80s pictures, right? Maybe this was his family. Um, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and it looks like here they're in the desert here, so maybe they went on some kind of uh, Middle East uh, trip or something. So let me just go through these. These are just, I, I do like the fact, though, guys, that these are, look at this computer <laughs> in the back. Whoops, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. <laughs> it's really interesting um, to study cubicles. Um, cubicles were meant to actually have people you know feel like they have their own space but still be involved and still socialize at work um but cubicles are really they're just not i don't know there's that one there look how fat that computer is how old and bulky cumbersome it is but yeah cubicles if you've never looked at the psychology what what kind of um, psychological warfare cubicles were and are on the brain um, in the past it's it's quite fascinating here is something interesting look at the piano is that a piano on Oregon yeah that's a piano this house reminds me a lot of my um, father father's mom's house look at the wallpaper very cool so these are all contemporary pictures um, oh my God, the wood wall panel, that's the kind of, whoops, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the kind of, that's the style my great aunt had. I have a picture of her way down at the bottom of my Instagram, um, that you can see where she's sitting in her latter days. This is really cool. Love the sofa. This reminds me of my family style. This sort of mid-century, I guess, is what that, that look is. It's really pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, this is where we get to the really good stuff. Um, and I hope that you guys can see all of that. Um, here we've got, like, this really cool car. I've sold several of these in the past that I found at the bazaar where my husband and I sell sometimes and sometimes where there is... Um, as vendors, both vendors and um, and consumers, buyers. Isn't that cool? And that's got a date of, I guess, I don't know. I think it goes this way. Can you guys see? I don't know what that what date that is. <clears throat> My camera doesn't want to focus. It's because it's dark outside 
Come on, focus. It's not going to do it. It says one seven, and then that looks like a nine and a zero. But that's pretty cool. Okay, I won't spend all my time on one photo, but there's so many. I should have taken these out and just went through these, but you can kind of see... Um, some of the images there. That says 1960. Look at that. I bet that was his his great grands. Isn't that cool? So there are those. And these are really cool images here. And a lot of times, guys, I you know, I pick up things because I see even mixed media artists uh, using these kinds of pictures. I think again, and I am going to be repetitive because I can. <laughs> um, uh, Tiff at Southern Gals does marvelous work, mixed media work with these kinds of images or with images like these. At least they were smart enough to tape these at the top so that you can get into them. There's that. Look how old that is. Oh my gosh. These are amazing, and they're in, it's never ending, right? And it kind of makes me not uh, grudgeful that she did take some of them out, um, because there's just there's so many here left in. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys! Talk about Beverly Hillbillies. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And that has some writing on the back and no date. Um, it says down here at the bottom, however, oh God, I don't have my glasses on. I think that's July 12, 1920. Yeah, July 12, 1927, I think is what that says. Yep, that's pretty cool. That's the year my great auntie was born, 1927. <laughs> that's really cool. Um, all right, let me see, because this thing is so big that there's no way I can um, let me see guys this is I should have taken them all out but then that wouldn't be fun would it this is a really cool picture here look at the kids with their little um, what do you call those haircuts I call them beetle haircuts look at the shoes very very cool his hair he's rocking the do man look at that <laughs> uh, if that's not asymmetric <laughs> okay let's see what else do we have I'm just going to stick these back in here there's some older people in, a, in the living room um, let's see there's just a ton I, I wish I could take them all out and show you maybe I will I don't know how to do how to show you all these at once I'll just pick out the interesting ones um, here is a um, one of the what do you call these uh, I have some of these cabinet cards <clears throat> that's pretty interesting and on the back I see some penciling um, but it's I can't read it right now I can't see there's more there look at her Oh my god. Awesome, right? Love the cars. I'm a car fanatic, old car fanatic. I love old cars. Oh, this is really cool. This one. And there's this one. And that one. And then there's even some there's a lady there on looks like she's standing on a prairie. <clears throat> Isn't that neat? You guys see that? No date on the back. Um, let's see. Ooh, this one looks kind of. Some of these might be perfect for Halloween. Um, because some of these look pretty eerie, actually. I don't know if you guys can see that one very well. The lighting in here is just awful. 1935. So there's that one. And 
here's some with some ladies. Looks like they're holding their grandma or the el the matriarch, perhaps. I know what that's like. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <clears throat> This one's really cool here. And that one is a postcard. That's interesting. Okay. And then, let me stick that back in there. Um, there's some letters. Can you guys see that? Whoops. This one here. That one's dated... Oh dear, I can't see that. Let me see guys, hang on. I have to I'll probably have to edit a lot of this me fumbling around with the book. Um oh my god, this I have family pictures like this. This is really funny. My uncles and aunts. Okay, let's see. Um Let's look at this letter. There's um, a cute picture. There's one of a baby that looks like it's a cabinet card like. More elderly people. And then. Sorry guys. Disruption. <laughs> this is why I won't do lives. <laughs> Nothing is ever like quiet or I'm not bothered. Or I shouldn't even say bothered. I'm not needed or something for long periods of time like that it's just never gonna happen um okay mm. yep so um okay so let me finish looking at these with you um this is another interesting one with the where's my scissors here they are with the car and look at this one. I teach this beautiful poem. Um, oh, Lord. Now my dog's going to wake up and start. Um, I'm just going to ignore him, guys. <laughs> I have to. This is why I never get anything done. At least on video. Okay. I teach this wonderful poem called Photograph of My Father. In his 22nd year, it's a Raymond Carver poem. It's so beautiful and so male, for the most part. Um, we have to believe or must believe the persona is, is male. Um, and that's what these images remind me of. And the poem is about a young man who's looking at an image of his father standing by a 1934, 1934 Ford, which is very American, right? Um, and he's sort of, hang on guys, let me, let me get my dog underway here and put him out. Hold on. Why are you doing this now? Huh? Happy tail? No, Smokey, please. I'm going to start crying, dude. Golly. Hang on guys. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Um, anyway, if you ever read Raymond Carver's poem called The Photograph of My Father in His 22nd Year, you'll understand why these um, remind me of, of that. It's a very short poem. It's very poignant. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have? Um, I'm just sticking this, these back anywhere. Okay, let's look at the letter here. This is kind of cool. That's why I said it was sort of worth, you know, um, purchasing it anyway. Now, I don't know if you guys can see what um, date that is. It's August 31st something something. But it's pretty cool. And there's the letter, and I'm not going to read it. I haven't read it. But there's the handwriting. Really beautiful handwriting. So there's that. We'll stick this back in here. I don't like to fumble around with stuff too much when I get it, guys. You know, I just love to, like, get it and and send it like, like it is, like I get it. Okay, um, but in this case, I totally, like, um, these pictures are not in the orders when I obviously got the book. Okay, here's a really cute picture. Look at this little girl with her baby sister. Look at those little fat legs. Oh, my God. Talk about baby rolls. So cute look <laughs> so 
adorable. Here's the car in the background. Very cute picture. All right, I guess I'll just stick this one back in here. And let's see. Oh, these are really cool, too. These are amazing. Look at these. Those are really cool. That must be uh, grandchildren with, sorry, guys, grandchildren with grandparents. And is that dated? Maybe 1939. I'm not sure. That looks like a Halloween picture. <laughs> right there. All that black. Oops, smoky. Sorry, guys. Um, come here. Let's go out. You're going to go out? Orale, pues. Andale. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, what else? What else? What else? Guys, there's too much to go through. I don't know if you guys can see everything. Can you see that? Look at the lady with her baby. I had a lot of these pictures um, just like this that I found um, years ago. And I put them in Mother's Day kits because I thought they would be really cool to uh, mix, do mixed media or um, use on the front cover. Reminds me of the journal Val at Pumpkin Patch made me. She had an old image that she put on the front of the, of the journal. Um, I'm assuming that's 20, 1927. Love the little bob hairdo with the little curl curls on the side. What else do we have in here? Um, let's see. Just a lot of, of uh, interesting images. If you guys see any in here that you're interested in, just let me know. Oh my God, I love this one. Okay, here goes the women in my family. <laughs> when they go all rogue and stuff. <laughs> Look at that. She's got the shotgun. Looks like she might be shooting at squirrels or birds or fowl or something. <laughs> but she's aiming it. Love the long apron. And she's shooting up in the trees. Look at the water well. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is here, but isn't that cool? And that one does not have a date on it. Um, it says the old 197 Winchester Maydale, honey, Tuskegee. <laughs> That's awesome. Love that. Um, let's see. And then we've got some, hang on guys, just bear with me. I'll try and edit out as much as I can, uh, like I said, when I'm fumbling through things. Um, this one's kind of cool for sort of a Halloween-y kind of picture. This would be even cool. Uh, images like this would be cool um, in the farm, like farm kits, I think. Especially if they were uh, scanned and then kind of uh, made bigger. Um... What else? Let me see if I can find something interesting. Oh, this is cool here. Oh, and look at the dogs. This is so awesome. Guys, I'm telling you, I did not look at this that closely. Um, I just saw a few pictures and said I have to have it. Um, look at the dogs there. The hound dogs. Smokey's a basset. He's the best basset. Well, his basset and Gina's basket, <laughs> of course. He's the coolest bassin on YouTube. And there's that one. Look at that. These guys look like they are... I don't know what they're doing. They're working. We'll just put it that way. Some of you guys may know. They're, they're working. They're doing some work. This is really cool. Oh my god. Okay, that's really cool. She's sitting on a tree stump. And I have to keep tapping the phone in here. When it's sunny outside, um, it'll be a lot better, easier for me to, to film. But right now it's, this weather is so weird, guys. It rained, it snowed in the, uh, 
northwest, the west of us, uh, we're north Texas, but it snowed uh, west of us, you know, but yeah, it rained just a little bit, and it's cold outside, but it's kind of not. It was 61 degrees yesterday, and sunny, and so pretty outside. I don't know if these, can you guys see that? I don't know if these are, they're postcards, but I don't know if they're postcards of their family members they had made, or, I'm not sure. Um, this says, Mr. Arch Jennings, Mrs., Mrs., Sorry about that, guys. Um, Mr. Arch Jennings, Mrs. Birdie Toombs, and sisters and brothers with music on red. Music on red. Buyer? Oh, Red River. Oh, okay. Red River, um, Montague, uh, Texas. That's um, where I used to take, we'd go over the Red River every time I'd take my great auntie or my mom um, to the casinos here up in Oklahoma and it's really red <laughs> the, the river is the clay around it is there's some cowboy pictures there or men with horses I don't know if you guys can see that oh lord here's another car image oh my god I just love this look at that whoops upside down Look at that, isn't that cool? Very, very, very cool. Love these pictures. Um, there's a water well, there's some more, um, more of the correspondence. The missives. Well, that's actually a postcard. And it says, here we're going on to uh, Branson, Missouri, I guess is what that says. Ray and Julia, Oklahoma. And this is dated, oh, hang on guys, somebody's scratching to come in. I think this is 1921. Sped up they smoking. King gal, give me a chance, man. You're taking up all my video time, dude. I'm going to edit you out. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let me move on, guys. I am boring you to death, probably. This is what I was trying to grab. Oh, this is so cool. I love this stuff. I love the cars. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's definitely in the 20s. Um... Huh. Probably Terry crossing. Probably. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. Shoot. Okay. Probably Terry crossing on White Road Arch near Old. Uh. Huh. I can't read that. Okay, I'll have to figure it out later. And then there's a cute little steel image. 1939, it looks like that might be. Isn't that cute? I love the cars, though. Those are my favorites. Um, look how old this one is. Good grief. This one. Look at the... Oh, my God, guys. Really? No way. Can you see the bonnets? Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not going to peel that off. Oh, here, look, it gives us a little history there. It says old and young are interested in canning demonstrations. So these women are canning, preserving, and the young girls and older women are coming to watch. Isn't that cool? That's some real deal stuff right there, too. Sorry, guys, there's all kinds of FedEx trucks and, um, Mail trucks uh, going by to delivering, uh, obviously, Christmas packages, probably. And then there's a big catch there. 
Very cool. Okay, let me move on, move on, move on. That's really cool, that canning image. Um, I think that is really, really interesting. Um, okay, so here are, this is more ephemera, but look at this image here on this side. This is very neat. Look at that. Talk about farming. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see that? My coffee's getting cold. I'm not sure what's going on right there. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it close up. There we go. Isn't that cool? Is this a black dude? A brown person. We all know I love brown people in old photographs. Yes, it may be. I'll have to get out the magnifying glass and check it out. Okay. Um, let's see. There's some guys with uh, 1915. Looks like basketball. All right, and um, there's a more, another um, water refinery, and let's see. Oh, this is cool. Look at this, and then we'll look at the ephemera. Guys, this is going to take a long time for me to get through all of this because it's just a wealth of images, and please, if you see something, let me um, know if you're interested in something. Um, here's some ephemera. Um, this says Westlawn Cemetery, 1919, right? 1919, and then here's a check for $41 for the plot, I believe. And it even gives, I think, like the plot area where the person is to be buried. My uh, family uh, did the same thing. My great aunt, my great grandmother, my grandmother all paid for their plots like way, way, way early on. Um, let's see. Um, my daughter is, is uh, buried in California still. She's in a private cemetery in California uh, with her granddad, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Okay, uh-oh, it says I'm going to run out of, whoops, I got a call coming in, decline for now. Okay, look at this little cute picture. Look at the shoes. Can you see the sandals? Come on, phone. I want you guys to see those. Look at those. Look at those. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Um, let's see guys, there's more, there's, there's a lot of older, uh, older women there, and this guy's rocking the shotgun, the rifle, I like that a lot, um, let's see, what's this guy doing, I don't know, um, Huh. There's more ephemera. Okay, there's some of these. Now, I think I've seen Gina use these in um, her, those big binders that she makes, I think. I'm not sure. Um, it'd be interesting how you ladies would incorporate those into your, your um, journals as old vintage ephemera. 1947 by District Champs. Um... And here's a baby announcement, it looks like. Um, there's that. And let's see. That's my male lady coming through. I told you, it's all kinds of mail trucks going up and down, up and down the street. Everybody's trying to get all that Christmas stuff delivered um, before too long. There's that. Oh, this picture is really nice here. This one is pretty cool. I don't know if they're coming from a funeral. I suppose they wouldn't be um, if they are 
smiling like that. But the black dresses, maybe the dresses are a different color. Okay, I think that's it. Did I finish? Did I finish? Yes, look at the bust. Oh, that's awesome right there. Um, I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Let's look at these. There's an army picture. Probably was this guy. I'm thinking. I don't know. I really don't know. They the they were they were busy. They were talkative and everything. They being the the um, estate hosts, but they just said they did his whole estate, the entire estate. Um, I think Louisiana is what she said. And then last but not least um, are these two pieces here. There's that one. Can you guys see that? My dog is sitting over there quietly now, guys, because he's waiting for my husband to come back. And he'll sit there and sit there and sit there with the door wide open. 1945. I mean, look at this one. Isn't that cute? Look. Look so cute. So cute and so time consuming. <laughs> oh my god. I love babies though, guys. I really do. But mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> okay, uh let's see what else. Um oh look at that. I didn't see that in the back. Well that was kind of worthy of of her taking pictures out look at that now that's some old stuff this says buggies and carriages can you guys see that 1905 is when it's dated here we go isn't that cool love stuff like that very 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 um interesting okay so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this guys um i probably will take all of these pictures out um some of these you know 80s pictures um will go into maybe some um flow books because you guys will know what to do with them i i don't um i will probably separate all the images from the photo album and um, turn this big mamma jamma into a flow book. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know unless somebody's interested in it. I have no idea what to do with a book this big. Um, it reminds me a lot of my mom's uh, scrapbook. Hers is really cool too. I have the all of the innards of hers, but I have. And some of you will say, why in the world would you separate your mom's scrapbook? Well, when it came from my great auntie, um, you know, that's kind of the way that's the way it, it was. It used to be full of of um, just all kinds of, of neat um, ephemera. When my mom was a majorette um, and she was in all kinds of beauty contests and she was a debutante. She was a brick house, my mom. Brick house. <laughs> so I'll show you guys a picture one day. Um, but I may part with her, her, um, her um, scrapbook too. It's really cool. Let me grab it. Hang on, guys. Hold on. Okay, this is my mom's scrapbook. She even had a letter where she had written to um, John F. Kennedy. And, um, you know, they responded back. Um, but for some reason, when my mom got this from my great aunt, um, who was over my great grandmother's estate, um, there was a lot of, um, you know, things missing out of it, um, which is so disheartening. But it's it's not that bad, guys. I mean, there's, you know, my nieces and nephews, they're, they're not interested in this kind of stuff. Uh, my niece uh, will get a lot of things. Um, but, you know. So this I'm going to let go of. Um, I just remember this as a kid being so full. And look at the little tie over here. Right? Isn't it cute? So teeny bopper. Bopper-ish. Um, and there's the back of it. It's in really cool condition. So if anybody's interested in purchasing this, let me know. And then there's my mom. She's a hottie. Wait, let me show you. There she is right there. 
Can you see? Can you see those hot legs? <laughs> She's a hottie, hottie, hottie. And this is, um, oh my gosh, this is the early 60s. And then there were some other, you know, other pieces that I kept um, out of it. Um, you know, our family, which is French um, and Indian and African American. That's my family's last name there, LaRue. All right, and so, yeah, and there's some other goodies in here I'll have to share with you guys at um, uh, some point. These are early, um, early 60s, my mom's stuff. Okay, so I will be, um, whoops, sorry guys, um, when my husband came back, my dog started barking really loud. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, I'll be back. Now, I have some happy mail that I have to open. I got some, some beautiful mail from Canada that I'm excited to open, and um, oh my God, I'm just going to like, right there. Um, so I'll come back and make a separate video for that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Orale pues.